let's see how we are this morning. Good morning, Sarah. Good morning. So we are here um, at Cheers to You Yarn Shop, and if you're joining us live, thank you for hanging out with us this morning. And if you're seeing this later, still thanks. So um, let's do our on the needles. Let's see what what are you doing? What uh, are you working well, on? Well, I am. So when I came in the other day, mm -hmm. and I told you that I was doing a little bit um, during my when my kids are on the computer at, um, for school, mm -hmm. um, working on that co um, kaleidoscope blanket, and I was going to call it my um, homeschooling hell. <laughs> 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 Shout so, out to all you parents <laughs> out there. So I've been, so yes, uh, ah. was it last weekend? Yeah, it was last weekend that I showed the squares that I was working on. That looks like pizza. I know, doesn't it? I love it. I know, every time I make one, the kids are like, that's making me it's hungry. It's pizza. <laughs> so this is one of the triangles, and I didn't have one done um, last weekend to show um, at the show. So this is one of the triangles. It's a little bit different than the way um, she has them, because she has the colors where I have the bobbles is the different color. She actually has like one color stripe and then like one color stripe and one color stripe. You did it as toppings. And I, and I wasn't crazy about that. <laughs> so I did the bobbles in different colors. Mm -hmm. So I was actually just sitting here thinking like exactly how many of these triangles do I have to make because a majority of the blanket is the triangle, right. um, not the squares. So I have 24 squares made. I have to make 24 more. I have 28 triangles made and I think I have to make Oh, probably like some hundred, some <laughs> more, and then and then there's twelve octagons, and then put it all together. <laughs> and what did yeah. I say to you? I will not make a blanket. So not these are happening. Pretty, these are pretty quick, and I'm actually really proud of myself because all the ones I've made, I've done the ends already. Yeah. 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 So I won't have to do all of that at the end. It's I'm actually, done. Yeah, because most of the time I'm just like, eh, ends. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm actually doing them. Good for you. Yeah. That is awesome. So these, they're actually kind of fun to make. I love doing the post crochet stitches. Yeah. And the bobbles are always fun because they stick out. So. Bobbles so are fun. So there's lots of different color combinations. Um, and there's a couple, there's like different figurations where like the bobbles are in different places. Right. And, and the crosses are in different places. So it's not all the same triangle. Cool. Um, but that's, that's what I'm working on. Very cool. Um, I went down a little bit of a crochet rabbit hole this week. <laughs> That's marvelous, Lady Anne. Um, yeah, and it's kind of because, uh, to be honest with y'all, um, you know, you hit that point in your crafting where you're just kind of ready for a break, and um, I hit that point. Um, I finished, actually, where did I put her? Yeah, where did you put her? Right here. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, <laughs> I finished the brown sweater. Yay! I can't. Let me get far The away. whole, yeah, the whole thing. Hold on. The whole Hold thing on. In there. There, there she is. is. Woo-hoo. So I finished the brown sweater, and I got those buttons on and all that good stuff. And, um, and you know, I, I don't know. I just needed a, um, I needed a break from the knitting for a minute. Um, so I started crocheting and I, I was playing with these little motifs. What did I, I do with the I saw that in one? one of your pictures and I was like, what is she doing? Yeah, well, I don't know either. <laughs> I'm not really entirely sure what this is gonna end up being, if anything, but this is um, hand-dyed diva sock. I mean, it could be pasties. Uh, ew. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> Are you gonna square them? Yeah, okay. well, I think I am. Oh, I just, excuse my language, I just totally pulled that out. Um, but the string got, or the yarn got caught and I pulled out some stitches. So this is the heading into the squaring because the math wasn't, math wasn't there yet. So I had to do some increasing to get to the point that the squaring would work properly in a way that I like it. I'm sure, um, Oh, thank you. Sherry said, beautiful brown sweater. I'm putting that up as a <laughs> featured comment, Sherry, um, because the brown sweater was painful. I don't know why, but it just was. 
anyway, so there's that. I, that's going to be something. I don't know exactly what it's going to be yet, but I'm, I'm enjoying it. Um, any thoughts I had of a blanket are just pretty much <laughs> no, not going to happen. Because I just, I realized I'm not a blanket maker. And so I think you could turn that into a garment. It could be, it'd be a killer scarf. Yeah. It'd be a kill something. I mean, there's a, that Bloom, Bloom Handmade Studio. Do you follow her? Mm -mm, I should. Um, She does some pretty cool stuff and she just did a water arcade. I mm-hmm. think it's what she called it, her pattern. Yeah. I think that's what it's called. And it was was a scarf. And then she made like, a top from it. So it's a bunch of circles. And then it has this like four pointed star thing that connects all the circles together. And it's really cool. Oh, that is cool. Yeah. Maybe I should look it up. Yeah. I, I don't know. It'll be something. Um, but that caused me to start looking at crochet stuff. And so I pulled out, um, this is supposedly a whip. <laughs> in my in my like whatever and I it, that is from ever ago I, I know and I you know how sometimes there's <laughs> something that you just I don't know I'm just I'm not sure that's ever gonna get finished so it might have to just be a shawl for a very tiny person <laughs> I'll a, a shawlette I yeah sure yeah, make it a thing yeah <laughs> and then actually I started this as a blanket, but this morning when I got ready to leave, I thought that would be a killer scarf. And like, oh do, yeah, look how long it is. I love it. And then do ends on it, yeah. like like to go back. So this might be closer to finish than I thought. I just, I realized. See, make it work. I'm I've gonna make things, it work. I've done things with like that before. I'm like, you know what? I really don't. You don't like, like it continue. as like I'm like I I liked working on this pattern, but I really just don't feel like continuing the work on it. Like, so I'm like, yeah, you know what? it's not this large thing; it's this smaller thing. Yeah, <laughs> so that's kind of where I am. And I, you know, I I told you guys I think last virus shawl. No, it's not the virus shawl, Sandy. I I don't. I honestly, if you're talking about this. That's at least a year and a half. Oh, man. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, something like that. That was a while ago. I don't remember what this is. Although it looks like the virus, doesn't it? (laughs) Like half, it's the half virus. (laughs) Um, Put the circles into squares on the end. Yeah, you know, I could do that, Karen. That's a great idea. I don't know I'm just in that playing I'm in the playing mode so I started looking at crochet to share with you guys today because to be honest with you and it, this is not true of all crochet that I see and by the way I did not make this somebody people always ask I did not make this this was either free people or seven for all mankind in the total clearance section because there's no way I could have gotten one of those things or would have gotten one of those things at full price but this was way more than a year and a half ago just so everybody who's following our no buy um yeah thank you marley she said the shawl is pretty it is pretty and i have no idea who designed it i i can't remember i'm gonna try to find oh, that it. wasn't yours no oh, that's okay. not mine that's something i started crocheting a long time ago oh. I'll, I'll try to find the pattern you guys but i honestly it may be in my um ravelry library but at this moment i I have no idea. <laughs> so, um, but what I was gonna say is that with crochet, when I um, when I look at a lot of crochet stuff, it I'm not a fan personally. This is just my my personal preference, but I'm not a fan of a lot of the super heavy duty crochet stuff. Like I I like things that have a that have pretty good drape. This is probably as thick as I would ever get. On crochet and I it was probably done with DK I don't know like I don't like them to be stiff I like things that are really um, drapey so are you talking just in the garment part of it or well probably yes because I don't I, I'm just not a crochet blanket person okay I mean, what about like the crochet, like the baskets and stuff? So baskets. Well, actually, yeah, now that you said that, so wearables. I'll okay. say wearables. Let's say that. So in the wearable department, I keep looking for 
a crochet style that um, that just like that just grabs me and I haven't found it and so I started looking through a bunch of stuff today to see if I could find it and I want to share with you guys what I what I found um, there is a blanket in this mix but <laughs> the blanket is made with fingering weight and I just I put it in here because it just seemed really um, interesting to me you've actually done this style before but oh, okay. and I'll share that with you and then I have some fun uh, things from the interwebs to share with you so it's amazing what you find um, so the the first thing that I found, let me um, get this down here. <laughs> let me let me get the right thing going here. That was just a, an intermittent ad that happened to pop up. Um, the first thing I found was this. Um, let me see if I can get this done right. Come back. I'm gonna so move. Yeah. When you see me looking over this way, I'm yeah. looking at the computer so I can see the pictures also. Yeah, if you see her looking, she's she's looking at the computer. So this is a mosaic um, crochet pattern that I thought was really kind of cool. It's Mosaic Addiction Blanket by Melanie Payne. And is it black and then a rainbow fade? Yeah, they so for whatever reason today, almost every single pattern I happened to pull up used, um, I'm going to try to say it the right way, uh, Skepius, Skepius Whirl. Oh yeah, um, that's really popular for the blanket because it's huge. They're well, really big. and it's it's a uh, it's a um, an ombre. It's not a gradient. That's right. No I wait, learned. that is a gradient if it goes through more than one color. An ombre. Think ombre hair. Okay. When people God, I always get this backward. <laughs> yes, ombre is one color, various hues. Yes. And um, or various uh, depths of shade, yeah. sure. And then a gradient, gradient is multiple colors. Is that it that face kills me. Multiple colors, yes. <laughs> anyway, it has lots of colors. So I actually have never done mosaic crochet. Oh, I thought you. I have it. I have done. Um, so those squares that I did, that was woven crochet because that's completely different. <laughs> Oh, for the, the blanket, the, from, the, pa the class. Yes, that's completely different okay. from mosaic crochet. And then the things that you do when you make the pictures on there, that's tapestry crochet. So mosaic is crochet is a combination of single and double crochets um, to, to make certain geometric patterns. Well, and she, I bought the, the, I bought this pattern. It's only $1.50, you guys. Oh, wow. But I bought the pattern just because I was curious. And I don't know if this is how all mosaic crochet works because I've, I've never done it, to be honest. Um, but she basically goes along and does a bunch of single crochets, skips a stitch, a yep. bunch of single skips, and then when she comes back and does, she does singles and then a double where that Down skip was. Skip, yes. And that's the lines. So it's not hard. I mean, it. No, does it have a graph or does she verbally say all of it? I think it was all that. written out. Okay. I think this was all written out. I looked at it very quickly, but I think it was all written out. Um, I really was um, trying to look at her um, abbreviation and definition of the mosaic double. Mm. So, pretty cool though. And mm -hmm. I think I, um, let me put this in the background so you guys can just look at that. So, here is what it looks like all together. I just think that is really cool. Isn't that pretty? Can you zoom in on like the? I get. I can't yeah. with this. I'm. I'm hoping they fix it. Oddly, I can zoom in to websites, but I cannot zoom into photographs. Huh. Let me see if we can. I oh, know. I don't get it. Um. I don't see one on there. I can try to get it on the on the internet when we when we look at that. So there's that one. Um. Oh wait, I did have one close up. Hang on. There. Oh, okay. Yeah, so there's I, another there's two people that I follow. Uh Martin up north. Okay. Um he does a lot of mosaic crochet stuff. And he's kind of cool website too. Because he's in like Alaska or Canada or something right. like that. And then he does pictures of like Arctic animals and everything that like come and visit his yard. 
And then there is, I can't remember the other person, but there's a lot of people that do like just mosaic crochet. Really? Yeah. There's a whole world out there. Yeah. I had no idea. I know, I need to do it because it makes really cool. Because you can make like words and stuff too, you know? Like, Hmm. yeah, it's pretty cool. Could have fun with that. Mm Mm-hmm. Okay, so the next thing that I found, you guys um, have heard, and I know you've heard me talk about it a lot, and you know of this person, but jo- jo- Johanna or Joanna Lindahl mm-hmm. from Miho Crochet. You love her. I got totally cool love stuff. her. She's <laughs> awesome. So I found from her this. and That's her new one. Yes, yes. and it's called Forrester, and it's just, it's just really cool, and it kind of reminds me of a blanket that my mother made. Um, oh, really? Yeah, it's done. It it looks to be done. It looks like it's done in a very similar fashion, but I I I'd have to look back at it carefully. But pretty cool. So that also is done with ready, <laughs> Skepius whirl, or sheep G's. You see sheep G's. Um, but I it, <laughs> sheep G's is fun. <laughs> So there was that, um, and I'm just going to share with you a few things that I found on um, Ravelry primarily, and then I want to show you some, we're going to take a little tour <laughs> through the internet and see some stuff, but these are just things that I liked. You're going along on my journey into the crochet rabbit hole. Um, so this one had a really interesting story. This is, um, I don't know how to say this, you guys, Cla- Clausiana, Cla- Clausiana. I just, saw, I just saw that one too. Well, I looked at what's hot. Oh, I, I okay. looked at what's hot. So, um, yeah, I like that pattern too. Um, Marley, the four star one, I think you're talking about was really cool. Who did that one? So, this is Kirsten Bishop, and it's a memorial shawl for somebody. And I'll show you. Oh, that's right. Yeah, and the woman that it's a memorial for, let me try to zoom this in. Hang on. The woman that it is a memorial for. Um, was part of a crochet group and I just thought this was really sweet. Um, I had to share this photo because I have rather sarcastically commented on my photos that they are not, uh, (laughs) my Instagram photos, they are not styled with uh, wood and dried flowers or ferns and you know and a coffee cup. And here we have that very lovely styling that I don't have the There's skill no to do. Boards, yes, there is. Is there? Right oh, there. Oh, the the uh, behind the, the little teacups. The, yeah, but it's like a tray. Right? It's a tray, but okay. it's in there. It is in there. Yeah, <laughs> if you don't have a, a a lovely coffee or teacup, some sort of uh, botanical addition and something wood in your picture, you have not successfully styled (laughs) an Instagram picture. So, and I say that, please know it it with, you know, total love and a bit of sarcasm because, um, and Sherry would say, sarcasm is unexpressed anger. Well, yeah, in this case, it's the anger that I have no skill to style photos like that. (laughs) Um, So this is another picture of it. She actually did, I think this is the designer's Sample, perhaps or maybe maybe the one I showed maybe this one is but either way the vast majority use um, oh, wait a minute ombre the vast majority use ombre I think Sarah just gave me an approving nod <laughs> I'm not sure um, and then here's one that appears to be done in uh, I don't know like rope it's it's big. I don't know. Is that the same pattern? It is. It's wow. the same pattern. So I don't know if I didn't look at this person's project page, but this reminds me of like I mean that's big. That's that's big. That's that's, that's like almost that's from her shoulders to her almost feet. Uh yeah, it's down to her calf. <laughs> I mean yeah. Jennifer Essex said cocktail I've gotta put this up there. Cocktails are easier to style. So Jennifer's really cool because she is a rum judge. If I get that wrong, Jennifer, I know you'll correct me. So, uh, but she's a rum judge, and so on her Instagram, which is, um, oh my gosh, Tiki Jen or Jen Tiki, one or the other. Just, you got to tell me which one it is. Um, but she, 
shares these gorgeous cocktails. So. Oh, I know they look so. Nice. I would love to have one of those every night. Like, um, that might be my special drink. <laughs> well, let me tell you, um, Jen made us cocktails uh, for. Actually, it was for your own birthday, Jen. I think, right? Um, and I, you've got to share what the cocktail was. I, and Sarah, you would have loved it. It was bar none, the rum spiration, rum spiration. Um, it was the best cocktail, hands down, I have ever had. And they're so pretty too. Well, I mean, like, yeah, this one I'm sure would have been beautiful, but we were in like really crappy plastic cups. <laughs> so, you know. Um, it was the taste more than anything. Yeah, it wasn't quite a red Solo cup, but it was it was heading in that direction. But um, but the cocktail was so good. So, um, Jen, share your cocktail recipe or the name of it or something. Because, oh, my God, that was the best thing ever. It deserves to be remade, huh? It, oh, oh, my <laughs> gosh. Yeah, Sherry said, I'm going to just. I'm going to share this because this is just the truth. Speak the truth, Sherry. It was delish. It was great. I don't know. And there's something about celebrating a birthday and having the best cocktail ever that's just, it doesn't have to be your own birthday. Nope. It's just the best thing. And happy birthday, by the way, to Kathy. Yes, happy birthday, Kathy. <clears throat> yep. She our, she's not watching. Oh. Um, I don't think. She'll see it later. She would have commented if she were watching. But <laughs> um, ah, here we go. I'm putting this up. Oh, my God. You ready? Um, white rum, Trader Joe's watermelon, cucumber cooler, ginger beer, and lime juice. Oh, that's what makes it. That I love ginger beer. <sighs> I didn't know I did. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know until that day. And um, Jennifer's. Oh, so this is your own concoction. Ooh. She calls it the Divalicious. <gasps> I have an idea, Jennifer. I'll be. Yeah. I'll be sending you a message after the show. You guys, it was the best thing ever. Ah, Dolores, oh my gosh. Um, yeah, Dolores came and celebrated Kathy's birthday with us. And um, if you guys don't know Dolores, you should, because she's awesome. She's one of my fave people. But um, she was sitting around with us and wow at the conversation. <laughs> it was fun. Um, mm -hmm. it, was a, it was a good so, one. So, yeah, it was a good one. So you may be asking yourself, <laughs> I love beer she says yes um, you may be asking yourself how how Lady Anne um, did back to crochet how did all this start well when I wanted to do the little crochet whatever they are little circles this week and I was trying to figure out what to do to take a break I started looking at um, mandalas or mandalas as some mandalas. people say mandalas whatever <laughs> that's like Kamala Oh, wait, if you guys have not seen Randy Rainbow, do you know Randy Rainbow? No, I don't. You're welcome. <laughs> is, um, it, is it an Instagram account? or? I'm sure it is, but he does YouTube videos. Um, oh, okay. I will preface it by saying he has a, um, a particular uh, mm, political bent, so just... I apologize if it's not your thing. However, uh, he's very funny. But he did a video on how to pronounce uh, Kamala. He did it to the tune of Camelot. It's just really good. So mandala. So I started looking at uh, mandalas or mandalas as I call them. And when I went onto YouTube to look at them, there are 80 five bazillion oh yeah there's a lot 85 bazillion i did watch as you can see a little bit of the crochet crowd um and jennifer said randy rainbow's fabulous and dolores said i was blowing up her head i uh, you deserve it you deserve to be propped up everybody does um so i started looking at uh man mandalas mandalas whatever i'm gonna look it up okay. i'm gonna look it up it's probably both <laughs> it probably is uh, but I started um, started looking at those, and then I realized, uh, I don't know, that just that wasn't gonna cut the mustard. So is it because because the those are usually um, like very heavily textured? They're they're usually like fractal. 
They are fractal, which so. is really cool. <laughs> if you like fractals, that's that's a, a cool thing. And if you like math, man, crochet is it's pretty freaking awesome. Um, no, it wasn't because of that. I love texture. All right, I'm getting ready to nerd out. Are you ready? Yeah. <clears throat> it's because most of the uh, mandala stuff that I looked at basically gave you a way to get started and then zone out. And oh. um, that's just not how this skull meat works. I don't that I don't enjoy that. I don't have an easy time just like I don't know. Do you just zone out? I, you know, there are not even what I'm doing like the sea of stockinette on a body. I don't feel like I ever zone out on my knitting. I, I don't either. Do you? No. I mean, even when I'm looking at the. TV, like you're still thinking. I'm still. I don't feel like I'm. I ever zone out on my, on my knitting. Like when people, when our customers come in, and Sandy said it's man, mandala, mandala. Nope, mandala. <laughs> mandala. <laughs> I I feel like uh, the lady from, uh, <laughs> is it uh, American or American Dad? Mandala. Or the cartoon, yeah. or there's some cartoon. Oh, that old, yeah. <clears throat> she says mandala. <laughs> I don't know. That's what I feel like. Yeah, we have people that come into the shop and they'll say, "I want to do something totally mindless." And, and I'm I, like, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I have no problem helping them find said <laughs> pattern, but that's just not <clears throat> that's not a happy spot for me. No, I like, know. and I can, I cannot crochet without looking. Can you crochet without looking? Um, generally, no. Um, I, I haven't mastered that. Yeah, generally, no. I can knit without looking, but I actually don't care to a lot of times. Like, I want to watch the what thing. I'm doing. Yeah. <laughs> so. It depends on what I'm crocheting. I can definitely not look and knit much of the time. Not all of the time. Crochet, not really there. So we got two totally different perspectives. Sandy said, I live for that zone out stage where my hands just do what they do and my mind wanders, which I, I can totally appreciate that. Um, my mind wanders and I make Sherry crazy. So I think I'm looking for my for my mind not to wander. You want to focus like, on like something. I, like I got into knitting to think, to make myself think about something so I was not stressing All over out the place. about other stuff. Yeah, yeah, I get that. So I think that's what, that's just how I developed into it. It's like, I, I want to look at my knitting and not think about anything else. <laughs> I, I, to that's, I totally get that and I'm having a flashback to, um, I, I was at the time I was just a working, just a working artist. I was a working artist, but that was the only thing I was focused on in terms of profession. And I was also climbing a lot. And I remember pulling up in front of a framer and opening up the back of the car because I had to put some artwork in and my rope was in the back of the car. And um, Rich, the framer said, oh, what do you have a rope for? And I said, oh, you know, for rock climbing. and. He said, why do you do that? And seriously, the answer was because that was a thing that engaged everything so that I couldn't think about anything else. I, you have to think about... Not dying. Yeah. <laughs> you have to think about, you have to pay attention. And so I really enjoyed it because I got my exercise, I got to focus, um, I got to, uh, you know, just my brain got a break because it was focused on one thing. So Dolores said um, she constantly counts and never zones. That is why we are sisters. Um, I'm pretty sure Dolores and I are related. Um, and Sherry said, wait for it, I can drink beer without looking. You know oh, how, okay. yeah, and you know what else she can do without looking is lie there in her um, recliner. Well, that's right, she balances it, her it's, glass. Yeah, she takes, <laughs> when she has like, I was going to say whiskey, but I don't think it's whiskey. She has bourbon or whatever. She will lie back. Forgive my nose holes. She'll lie back. <laughs> she'll put the glass right here, and I'll look over, and she is 
out. Asleep, right? Yeah. Sometimes with the pie hole hanging open, but mostly, mostly not. <laughs> Sometimes she's, but mostly her mouth is closed and the glass is balanced. When I first saw that, I got a little nervous, but then I realized it's just one of her things, right? I think she knows it's there, so she doesn't move. Right. <clears throat> TMI. Do Dolores dozing. said TMI. She's not like she is. She's she's like kind of dozing with a glass sitting there. It's really kind of crazy. But um, so Marley said, amazing to watch YouTube videos of people walking and knitting at the same time. I would lose an eye. Uh, not gonna have happen. Have you seen the one where the woman roller skates and knits at the same time? Nope. Nope. Yeah, I'd stab myself somewhere. <sighs> Sherry said, I thought the show was about crochet. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, anyway. All right, we'll move on. So, uh, just to give Sherry a break, let me go to, <laughs> I want to share with you, um, and I'll have to figure out how to make this come up here. Um, no, I wasn't throwing shade. That was not throwing shade. If you want me to throw shade, honey, I'll show you how. No, just kidding. All right, let me go to... Let me see if this is the right one. Um, that is not the right one. Hold on, <laughs> getting to the right thing. Okay, so let me just zoom out a little bit. So I was looking at um, crochet on the runway because I was telling you guys a few minutes ago, I was trying to find crochet that I thought um, was just, you know, total fashion badassery. So the place I always go for that is um, either, you know, haute couture or pret-a-porter kinds of stuff, fashion week, that sort of thing. I love looking at that. I love it. So I started looking at all of this. I don't know what happened over here. I, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not really sure. Um, but I started scrolling through all of this crochet on the runway stuff. And there is some really cool stuff. Like this is pretty nifty over here. This, uh, coat. Okay. And I have to tell you the bra thing. So if you guys have never looked at Pinterest, I was looking for bras that fit really well. And so now forevermore, when I oh, scroll yeah. through, wait for it, I'm sure there will be, there it is, more bras. I'm stuck I know, forever. They kinda, I know, they kind of take your like random offshoot inquiry. And it's and, your forever and just, thing. Like, shove it in there all the time. like. Wow, you must really want to know a lot about this. Well, like, and no, so actually, I don't. Yeah, so now <laughs> the thing is pixie haircuts <laughs> and bras. So when I look at somehow on uh, oh no Instagram horses and birds. Uh, that's not what I thought you were gonna say. No, it's not dirty. Okay. It's just it's all horses and birds. <laughs> I think I watched one parrot video of a parrot talking. And now it's just all birds. So that amounts to algorithmic karma. So if you look at something on the internet forevermore, that is your karma. So apparently bras and pixie haircuts are my weird, karma. But the weirdest things, you know. It's always the weirdest yeah. stuff. So I was looking at all that and I thought it, there was some cool um, stuff minus the bras. But let me see if I can get down to, ah, here we go. So. I found, let me get to the window. Hang on, you guys. Let's see if I can find it here. Get rid of that one. Here it is. Okay, so, um, I don't want that, that's an ad. So this is Dolce & Gabbana, and some of this is actually crocheted, some of it is knit. Um, let me see if I can, zoom in on this at all. I think this is crocheted. I can't really tell. It's there. hard. Sandy is our, our like our hero is in this her department. Jacket? Is that yeah, what it's this it? long like look at this coat. I mean that coat is killer and it almost looks like her shoes are even knit or crocheted. So Dolce and Gabbana did this whole line of um fashion wear that's all crocheted and knit, but it's all black, which made me think of Esther Purbant um, from... Those four people that had to crochet all of that. Possibly. Because you can't do crochet on a machine. Sandy said, it's Sarah, how dirty can it be? Don't answer hey! that. 
Yes. That's the family show. She said that looks like brioche knitting to her. I don't okay. I don't know. I do not know. And then I had one more um, thing from the internet to show you. If I can find it. Hang on. What is this one? Oh, this was the last. So this is actually a Ravelry page. But you were saying earlier something about, um, uh, you know, if I was okay with accessories that were um, thicker, you know, that were yeah. done in thicker whatever. And, and I, if you're going to do like the bucket <clears throat> bags or the baskets, you almost have to. Yeah. And it, this, you know how when you're looking through Ravelry and there's, you will see these designs and you don't realize they're all by the same person. Yeah. <laughs> and they, but they, they constantly get your attention. This designer got my attention. So Natalia Kononova, I believe. Oh, I follow her, I think. <laughs> yeah, she, the, the one that got my attention first was this um, Corfu bag. I thought yes, it was she has really been, cute. And I mean, look at that. Outstanding crochet. Yes, her, outstanding crochet. her Instagram, because I do follow her. So that's the one, is that the one with the fish on it? Yes. Okay, because she's got a couple other ones that she did before that. With um, like, yeah, like there's a wine bag right there. Mm -hmm. That's really cute. And then she does all of these. She has a really good garments too. Yeah, well, and I'll tell you what got me was the Corfu bag. And then separately, I saw this climbing vine hat. That's the bag. She did a whole series on that before the Corfu bag. With the climbing vine. Yeah, and the, there's a bag with it. And she did the like the, the berries and the leaves and like contrasting colors like she did with the oh wow bag. I just think it's cool I think it's really cool and it it looks um very you know just I don't know really cool and interesting I like it this looks, one too it looks um cute uh fashionable but like accessible fashion like you would use it and wear it you know what I mean not not like kind of on the skewed to the weird side. I guess, yeah, I, that and that's my whole point. <laughs> um, <clears throat> let me see how. Oh, it won't let me do it that way. I am on now. I'm on Sandy's page, um, and I'm looking because I know she has a bunch of crochet stuff. Although I'm not seeing it right here immediately. Right, because she's got that book. Yeah, she's got a book and she has a really cool African violet. I'm just scrolling like there's no tomorrow. Um, she has an African violet thing. Um, you mean our Sandy, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, here's her book for one thing. With all, yeah, all those cute tops in it? Yeah. I mean, it's just, it's just really, I like the really cool... Stuff like that, I feel, is like... That's really cute. Like, some stuff you look at and you think, like, oh, that. that would be really cool just to kind of, like, make it, but you wouldn't really end up doing anything with it, you know? But but things want, like that are, like... Like, this is yeah, really wearable. And then I would wear it. <laughs> I think that's super cute. I, there's... I love I, every one of those tops in that book, because she had one here. She had that the wrap top. Yeah, that, that, yes, yeah. and that came out of the book. Yes, and then um, we had the couple copies of the book here that, that they're gone because they got snapped up. Um, but I looked through it before they all sold, and I was like, well, I like that, and I like that one, and I like that one, and I like that one too. <laughs> I'm looking for her. It, what's the name of that pattern, Sandy? It's going to take you a second because of the delay for me to see it. But, the um, wrap top one? No, I, the African violet one in particular. See, there's one of her crochet patterns. That's really cool. I just, I like things that are interesting and different, and I just am not a fan of, of, I think there are some crocheted garments that end up looking like sandwich boards because they are too thick. They're too, yeah, they're too and thick. And that, to me, is just not appealing, so I keep, I, I keep my eye out for things that are God, Sandy. Which I where like to it? do things like that. Like, and I've done it in knitting too, where like if it calls for, you know, it's a sweater, and it says they made it in worsted, 
and they're on a G hook, which would, you know, a G or an H on worsted weight yarn would kind of be comparable, um, but it looks like it's really heavy, then I'll keep the same hook size, but I'll do a DK. Yeah, I mean, that it, makes sense. Because then it drapes better. That makes sense. The, how, it was, you did it for um, Sandy, it was a, it wasn't a scarf, it was hat. You did the class. It was a, oh, the but, violet. Uh, oh, I, that's not the name of the actual pattern. It, that's the name of the motif, the African violet. Yeah, and I can't, um, I don't know if she has that one published on hers. Oh, it might not be on hers. Never mind. It might not be. And I can't remember I'm not sure. of that either. It was in the jewel. We did it with the party of five. It was for Sweet Georgia. That's it was for Sweet worked. Georgia. Yeah. That's right. You know what? I wonder if I can find it on if there. If they have it on their website. Yeah. Um, I'm going to look really quick because I want you guys to see this. It was absolutely gorgeous. It was, yeah, it was a full class. It was a really fun class because everybody had really pretty, um, I love watching classes like that for everybody's color combinations, for everybody, you know, to pick their own colors and stuff, because I think they're like, they use all five of them. Yeah, it was, God, it was really pretty. I'm mm -hmm. looking to see. Um, I found it. There Hang it on. Is. Yep. Give me one second, and I'm going to let you guys see it. <laughs> there it is. And what's it called? Vilea. There we go. Oh, my yep. gosh. I I well, yeah, of course I, I was knew it. struggling, <laughs> you guys. I don't, I, thank you. I don't want to make something together right this minute. So there's the top of it. Look at how beautiful that is. I love the African violet motif. That is so pretty. Sandy, this is just gorgeous. I love it. And I thought there were mitts. Yeah, there were mitts that went with it. Okay, I couldn't remember that part. They didn't, so. have, they didn't have the African violet on. It was though. just color. Yeah. It was the same color. But I love that hat. So... That is my little journey, and I, I did pull out, I was looking at our bookshelves yesterday. We have a few books here. Um, uh, God, it's so hard to see, sorry. Rustic Modern Crochet. I really love what's on the cover mm -hmm. because it's, it's super gauzy. And then I started looking at this, the skill building workshop because I was trying to make sure I understood the squaring of the circle, <laughs> and which it made, circle. it made sense. The key is in the math and the height of the stitches. There you go. This book is killer. Um, and actually it has some jewelry in it, but this is Noro, um, a Noro crochet. And you don't have to do, you guys, if you buy a book, you don't have to do it in the yarn that's in the book. People think you do, but you don't. I probably made about three things that call for the yarn that was actually in the, the in the pattern. <laughs> And then this is, I think Sandy knows Melissa Leapman. This is a Melissa Leapman. Um, oh, I love stitch catalogs. They're so much fun to look at. They through. are really fun. So I think I might be on just a moment of a, of a crochet kick. Um, although I told you guys last time I tried Tunisian and not oh, really. Oh, that's right. You did that little. Yeah. Did you try any of the other stitches though? Not yet. Um, did you not like the way it draped it, or? Well, I did it with worsted yarn. Because I was learning, oh, yeah, and it is it is like, hiya! It's a uh, seriously stiff. It's just not. I don't know. You gotta go, yeah. And it's just not like, fast. Like I can crochet way faster than I can knit. I'm a really fast crocheter, and Tunisian felt slower than both of those things. I feel like it is too. It's slow. I and I'm just not in that mode right now. So I don't know. I might I'll try it again. I'm not there yet. But I do have to say, T L Yarncraft. Did I mention that when yeah. we So T L Yarncraft is the person on YouTube who did the tutorial that I looked at for the Tunisian. Um she said Tunisian can be kind of bullet bulletproof. Yeah, it was a little sturdy for my taste. <laughs> I like fabric that's a little more fluid. Um, oh, Ed said use a really large hook or really mm -hmm. tiny yarn, one or the other, or both. Um, but TL Yarncraft is this awesome, she is just awesome. She is a, um, she's a crocheter and a designer and a personality and she seems, don't know her personally, but she seems like a really nice person. And one of her test um, crocheters came in by chance after oh, I had done, yeah, and she said, oh, do you know who T.L. Yarncraft is? 
yeah, I, I, I just watched her video and she said, oh, I, I test crochet for her. Who knew, small world. So um, give her a look. So that's really it for this week. I'm just sharing with you the beginning of, um, I've crocheted before, but this is kind of the beginning of figuring out if there's a nugget in the crochet world mm -hmm. that really grabs me because um, I like a lot of it, but I want to fall in love with some aspect of it and I haven't found that yet. Like with knitting, I adore color work. I, I adore it. I just, I love color work. That is my favorite thing. And I love sweaters more than anything else. Um, although I am in the middle of um, shawl designs right now, but you know, I love, those are probably the two favorite things. So what are you most in love with with crochet? Or do you have a thing? So I guess where I started my crochet journey was with Afghans. Oh. Because um, my mom e. had made several, mm -hmm. um, and we geez, we still have them. The three that, I love that. the three that she made. Yeah. I think we still have that orange one. Does she still um, crochet, or did she quit? Um, well, she always crochets everybody a baby blanket. Aww. So like my girls have baby blankets, and I then love that. my sister. Um, uh, my niece has a baby blanket, and if there's another one, there'll be a baby blanket. Right. So everybody gets um, a baby blanket. So she um, she still does, but not probably as much as she used to, I guess, because now she's quilting. So okay. Um, and and since I taught her to knit, so now she now she's knitting. Go you! <laughs> I, I love that you taught her. That. That's awesome. So. But she's like, I've, I've been doing things before in crochet, and I'm like, I just don't get, like, I don't know what's going on. And she'll, be, she'll yeah. read it through, and she'll be like, okay, do this, do this, do this. So she's she your can, Sherpa. She can figure it out. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I started my journey on, let's, oh my gosh, how old was I? I was maybe 13 or 14. Oh, I guessed two. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, you. yeah, old enough to be able to like you know buy my own stuff and and do my own project. Yeah, and I still have this horribly wonky, not any kind of even edged, twin sized, double crocheted afghan that matched my bedroom because my bedroom was light blue. And I made this whole afghan. I still have it. Like I would I would buy yarn, like two balls of yarn here and two balls of yarn there. So the dye lots are like all over the place. So it looks like it's striped. And the edges are horrible because I didn't count stitches or anything like that. But I finished it from beginning to Good end. Good for and you. I still have it and I will not get rid of it. It's I think that's nice awesome. <laughs> I do not have the first thing I ever <laughs> knit. It was intended to be a scarf and it was, as happens often, more like a rhombus or... <laughs> It was not, it didn't. It didn't turn out like the rectangle it was No, I, I think most people who <laughs> learn to knit, like at, at the beginning you, you learn very quickly that, you know, accidentally adding or deleting stitches, you know, kind of makes a difference. Yep. So, Especially when you do it on every row. Yeah. Because <laughs> that's what usually happens. Yep. Which is what I did. And I remember getting done and going, like, oh, you know, what happened there? <laughs> It gets slower and slower. You're like, why but, is this row taking so long? Yeah, so I don't have that anymore. I I um I took that out, and I think I actually gave that yarn to my mom, and she made something out of it. But I oh cool yeah I don't remember. And then I made Sherry. Uh, I think I made. I did make Sherry a scarf, and there were some other things thrown. In. Oh, the next thing that I made actually was um. And then we'll let you guys go. But one of Rebecca Danger's monsters. I made a couple of oh, those. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, which are fun. And they're good for beginners. And if you mess up, it's a monster. It's a monster. Who it's cares? So I made those for the kids. <laughs> they each have one. So that's it. That's it for today. That's that's all I got for you. Um, and, that. yeah. And we have some muy importante things coming. Let me get to where... So next Saturday, this is this is uh, super pooper important. Um, 
Next Saturday is local yarn store day. We will be open our normal hours, 10 to five on that Saturday, but um, we want to invite you to please come out, bring a chair, sit outside, socially distant. The weather is supposed yes. to be glorious. So if you are in our area or um, if you have powers of teleportation, um, just come and join us. But we want to we want to sit outside. We want people to come and get together from a, a, a bit of a distance. <laughs> um, when you come into the shop, you do have to put a mask on. If you're outside and far enough apart, that is that's um, up to you. I would recommend wearing a mask. I think it's a smart thing to do. But um, come and come and hang out and bring your project and sit and. Um, we just we just want to have some together time also today i am going to put up uh, a new concept for classes at our shop um sherry said please wear a mask yes absolutely wear a mask you are better off even outside wearing a mask just so you know um them's the haps um as far as the classes go uh i'm going to be putting up a um a class menu uh, on our website today and there will be information about how that works. But our classes will each have a maximum number of people and a price for, yes, all the, I agree with you. I'm putting that up. All the cool kids wear masks. There you go. And Sherry said, please wear a mask. And I'm putting that up as well. Yes, please. It is gonna be a fun day with friends, Marley. So, yep, you guys come and join us um, next Saturday, 10 to five. Um, as far as the classes go, the way it will work is there will be a price, and this will all be explained on the website. There will be a menu of classes. There will be a price. That price will be for a maximum number of people. How does that work? Well, if the price is for a maximum of three people and you and your friend want to take it and you don't want anybody else, you just split that price. Um, that the way we're doing that enables a fair wage for our teachers it, it uh, maintains the safety and social distance of people who take the classes at our shop these will be in-person classes I'm also going to put up for um, this coming week our first uh, get-togethers again our first live um, open stitches but they will be very limited in the number of people. So you will have to sign up for them. You cannot just show up. You, there will be a limited number of spaces just to keep everybody safe. And also because um, we removed chairs from our table a while ago. So space is limited. So there's that. Um, other thing, I've been reminding you every week, mm -hmm. the Charlotte area yarn crawl is coming. And I have to tell you, we got some exclusive to the crawl diva things Ooh, are you gonna tell about them or we're we gonna wait we're gonna wait ah. you get to see them okay you guys have to wait a hot minute are you um, actually gonna wait for another two weeks i'll wait until the week of the crawl and i will reveal them okay um Did you spill the beans early sometimes i'm not <laughs> see me not spilling the beans early <laughs> challenge accepted yes hey i've gone almost two years without buying clothes that's true um so the diva things will be available only on diva day which is the saturday saturday, of the crawl. saturday okay. september 26th is diva day <laughs> uh it is a national international holiday it's uh, going to be a sensation around the world I don't know if it really will be, but we'll have some exclusive diva things for you. And um, that will be the day that you'll be able to get those. Oh, yes. And sparkles. And I will tell you one thing. I will not tell you the specifics of it. <laughs> but there is a colorway that people love, love, that sells out every time and it is coming to you on diva day it sparkles <gasps> don't say it and it'll be on all the 
all, is it, it's on all the bases. The too, sparkle right? is, is only going to be available. I think it's only on one base at the moment, okay. but the colorway is across is, yeah. all the bases. Yes. Yeah, and the sparkles, oh my god. I think I know which one it is. Oh, it, it literally gives me chills. I'm super <laughs> excited. Okay, um, and the last thing is just, um, I didn't spill the beans. I did not spill the beans. No, you didn't. Okay, so the last thing is, I am going to share this again, um, and I, partially because there is another deadline coming up. If you're a female and you own a business, please take a look at the Red Backpack Fund. We are the proud winners of a Red Backpack Fund grant. And so um, if you're a business owner, take a look because I don't think the deadline um, has passed for this last round. This will be the last round of this grant that I'm aware of anyway, that's what they say. So that's it, that's all I got. All good. So thank you for joining us and definitely join us next week. It will be Sarah's turn mm -hmm. uh, for some fabulosity. I think it'll be fabulous. She already has a show idea. I do. That's very unusual. Don't tell him. Don't tell <laughs> I'm him. I'm not. I'm not going because I can't even pronounce it yet. So. Wow. Yeah. Okay. A little research required. <laughs> That's right. Well, you guys have a great week. Thank you so much as always for joining us. We love hanging out with you. If you have show ideas, send them to us and on Instagram. Um, Smurf1229 yep. <laughs> is Sarah and cheers to you is the shop and the last thing is I did just to keep myself and other people sane I broke my knitting design out into its own Instagram please follow me there if you're interested in even some crochet I have one crochet pattern out so far but um, knitting design and it's Lady Anne Knits so yeah, go to okay, that for the knitting stuff because I, I was making myself nuts and other people, so <laughs> just getting organized. So, yay. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Mom. Good show. And Marley, nice to see you. Everybody, great to see you. And we will see you next week. Thanks for joining us. Bye.